Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll cover uh, NFS. Let's look at the uh, exam objectives first. So under NFS, uh, you need to be able to provide network shares to specific clients, uh, provide network shares suitable for group collaboration, use Kerberos to control access to NFS network shares uh, usual uh, network services uh, tasks such as SE Linux and even configuring the firewall correctly uh, applies as well. We we'll take the following steps. Um, first thing we need to do is uh, generate a key tab file for securing NFS using Kerberos. We'll do that on the IPA server. We'll configure uh, server one with a normal NFS share and a Kerberos protected NFS share and we'll mount both uh, shares on server 2 uh, automatically. Okay, let's get uh, started. Okay, so this is our IPA server. First thing we want to do is um, configure the uh, key tab file. So let's start with um, picking up some Kerberos credentials. So K init admin. Okay, so first thing we need to do is add the service. So that's um, IPA service add. It's NFS and the server one dot example dot com. Okay. So now the service principle is added. We want to get a key tab. So that is IPA get key tab. The server is ipa.example.com. The service principle is NFS server one.example.com, and we'll put the key in the root NFS to key tab, and we'll download this key tab onto server one and server two when we um, configure the uh, Kerberos NFS share. So there you go. That's uh, there, here we go. Okay, so first on to server one. NFS service is provided by um, NFS utils. So uh, that's normally installed by default, but uh, let's check if it is. So RPM QA prep NFS. Okay, so NFS utils is already there, so we don't need to uh, install that. So let's create our um, directories that we want to share out. So, first one we'll do is NFS share, and then we'll do NFS secure share. Well, we're not too bothered about permissions for the purpose of the um, purpose of this. We just want to get it configured. In a um, production environment, you probably wouldn't do it like this, but this is for the uh, exam. Okay, now we need to do the SE Linux context. So that's SE manage file context add type and it's NFS underscore T and we'll do that for NFS share first. And we'll do that for NFS secure share as well. Okay, now let's restore file context. So recursive, verbose, NFS share, NFS secure share. Okay, let's have a look. That is okay, NFS T for both of them and permissions wide open. So that's not going to be the issue if it doesn't um, mount. Okay, so let's enable 
NFS server. Okay, let's start it as well. Next, we need to um, put our definitions in the exports file. All right, we'll start with the easy one. We'll start with the um, normal share. So that is NFS share and specific clients, so only our network. So 10.10.0 slash 24 in my case. And we'll make a read write. And that's it. OK, we do need to reread the file. Okay, and you can to show mount E to show the exports. And there it is. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is um, configure the firewall to allow NFS access. So firewall, CMD, permanent, add service. We want to do NFS. We also need mount D and RPC bind. Okay, let's reload the config. Okay, now Let's see. Oop. Okay, there we go. So Mount DNFS and RPC binder there. So we should be able to go to our server too. And um, we should be able to do a server uh, show Mount E on server1.example.com. Okay, there you go. So let's test the uh, test that we can mount this uh, on this server. So first thing is create a directory go NFS here, and then we'll do mount t is NFS server one dot example dot com NFS share, and we'll mount that to NFS. Okay, so mount. Okay, there is our share. It's mounted. Uh, let's uh, create a file. Okay, there you go. And if we go back here to our server one, go to our NFS share. There we go. Okay, great. So that is okay. Now let's um, create the uh, Kerberized uh, NFS share. So, first thing we need to do is copy our key tab file. So, we'll SCP that from our uh, IPA server. Key tab, and we'll put it in root for now. Okay, so... There it is. So let's copy this to, this is important. It needs to go to etc krb5.key tab. Okay, now there is a command called klist. If you do a k, it shows you the keys. Okay, so that's not installed. Uh, so let's install this. This is um, to see what package this file, this uh, program is in. You will do a uh, yum what provides and the name of the file k list okay so there we go it's krb5 workstation so let's install that okay 
Okay, so now if we do a K list K, so there's our uh, key tab, which is good. Okay, so now let's uh, create the um, definition in exports. So, okay, so NFS secure share, share to the same network again. Okay, and we want to read write, and this is the the command to say scurborized. So KRB five P, which is the highest level of security, and save that. Reload. Okay, there it is. Now, to um, mount Kerberized um, file shares, you do need NFS server um, service to be running. So let's enable that first. Let's start it as well. Okay, let's check. It's running. Okay, so we haven't copied the Keto file, so we need to do that actually. So let's copy that. Root at IPA. Okay. Copy it here first. Okay, let's install the um, KRP5 workstation to get K list. So, yeah, I'm install. Okay, let's restart NFS. So let's test this. Uh, let's create our um, mount point. So make the NFS secure. And um, Mount T NFS option securities KRB five P server one dot example dot com NFS secure share and we'll mount it to NFS secure. Oh, it worked. So let's have a look. There you go. Those are two normal NFS share and Kerberized NFS share. So the only th other thing I would do is um, reboot both the servers, make sure it's still working after a reboot. So let's start with unmounting these.
Okay, um, so we want these to uh, mount automatically at boot. So we need to add the um, add these uh, into the etc fs tab file. So let's do that now. Okay, so let's add these in. First one is so server one dot example dot com nfs share. We'll mount that on NFS, type is NFS, option, defaults, zero, zero. Server1.example.com, NFS secure share, and we'll mount that in NFS secure, type is NFS, defaults, and Add the security tag in KRB 5P 0 and 0. Okay, let's reboot this and see if it mounts automatically. This will take a couple of minutes, so let's come back. Let's connect back to server 2. SSH root at server2.example.com and let's check if our share is mounted automatically. So mount grep nfs and there you go, both our shares have mounted automatically. And that uh, concludes the um, video for NFS. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. Uh, some contact details below. Uh, drop me a line if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you.